stars flocked to unveiling of Damien Hirst's Veil's paintings. One of the hottest pre-Oscar parties in L.A. on Thursday night wasn't for any film, but for a new show of work by A-list artist Damien Hirst. Line snaked down the block on North Camden Drive in Beverly Hills, where 2,500 people showed up to the Gagosian Gallery to see Hearst's first L.A. exhibition in five years, The Veil's Paintings, and the works instantly sold out. Inside the gallery for its annual art show pegged to the Oscars were Hearst himself, along with blue-chip artists David Hockney and Dedruska, architect Frank Gehry, designers Tom Ford, Calvin Klein and Vera Wang. Kanye West, rockers Anthony Kiedis and Flea, record mogul Mo Austin, producer Brian Grazer, Snapcat creator Evan Spiegel and his pregnant model wife Miranda Kerr, Maria Sharapova, LA mega collector Eli Broad, Coralie Kloss, Das Hizukova, Michael Douglas, LA art wonder kind Alex Israel, and LA County Museum of Art director Michael Govan. Hearst's large paintings included eclectic names such as Veil of Secrecy, Veil of Perfect Harmony and Veil of Endless Joy, leading guests to speculate which stars and collectors bought which titles. At a VIP dinner reception for Hearst at Mr. Chow after the show, presided over by Larry Gagosian, we hear rocker Robbie Robertson was telling pals he'd just wrapped an HBO doc, Elvis Presley, The Searcher, with Bruce Springsteen. Gary was showing off images on his iPhone of the tower he's built in Arles, France, for the Luma Foundation and explaining how the skin of the building will change colors 24 hours a day, like a painting. Controversial director Oliver Stone was talking about his next project, Guantanamo, about the infamous military prison, while Michael Douglas discussed his upcoming comedy series for Chuck Lore. China Chow arrived with Billy Idol as her guest as you were founder Travis Kalanick held court. Later, we hear, a group headed out for drinks and were joined by Jeff Bezos and Leo DiCaprio.